run! The stretch! That way! Moment and set. And action! Where's she going? They're gonna race. And do what? When I look at Sam, my character, I'm not representing the Comanche people as much as I'm representing a Comanche character. And this character has his own set of rules in a way. Sam, I think, is the most remarkable person else has ever seen. He's an extension of the world, of nature, the very things that she loves the most. I don't think that there is a more misrepresented group in American cinema than the Native American. And what little I can do to correct that historical perspective in fiction, I'm gonna do. Taylor brings in Native people to tell our story and to get things right. Part of the staff on the show, there is a Native Affairs organizer who helps make sure all of the details are accurate. When it comes to finding the props, I am sourcing them from you know, the proper places and making sure that I portray my Native brethren in the accurate light. I think the most important thing to Sam is his people, his land, and his culture. He lives according to his traditions. Those are the things that really give him an identity. Y'all ready? Go! She just naturally gravitates towards him, and what I love is that there's not very much verbal communication. They just understand one another. It's a moment of joy in an otherwise gloomy existence. They forget about all their troubles when they're around each other. I think that's why they like each other. It's an interesting beginning. It's the fruition of another relationship. They both lost someone. And really, the only reason why they're pulled to one another is because of that loss that they both experienced. Your name is Lightning. Lightning doesn't mourn. It's just a natural conversation that just sparked out of being around each other. His philosophy on life, it's so rich and enthralling. She wants to know more about him, and I think he feels the same way. It's a curious thing. You see Shay speaking to the Comanche, it's evident that somehow this guy's managed to have relationships with these people. The white man was not welcome in those places, thanks to those that came before him. How's it been with bandits? He was out here, he used the storms to hide. I'll keep that in mind, Shay. Just has something in him that allows him to cross that border that was fairly clearly defined from what I understand, from what little I know about our history. Take them to Colorado. Leave them there. Better for them. We gotta get moving, get to the herd. There's a storm coming. All right, guys, bring up the wind. There's a tornado. <laughs> Pops up out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm not gonna compare it to anything because I've never done anything like this. James, what is that? It's a tornado! It took a lot of technical work and that was really intense and, and really took a lot of preparation and a lot of time. My name is Michael Owens and I'm a visual effects supervisor of 1883. And we're shooting a tornado sequence. You see physical effects as all their giant fans to create the wind on the actors, the horses and the wagons. Eventually it just overtakes everybody. We're watching the madness and the destruction of a tornado. There's an extraordinary amount of action that takes place. What about Elsa? Turn the horse loose! How will they make it? They won't! Turn him loose! Sam saves Elsa and her fellow cowboys. She and Wade and Colton hide with Sam. And in that moment, she doesn't know if she's going to survive this or not. That's a moment where she feels safe with him. All she wants to do is just kiss this man. And so she does it <laughs> fearlessly. It's just this kind of bravery, this unique understanding between two individuals that doesn't really need to be explained. The one thing I love most about Thomas is his optimism. No, we have nothing. We didn't lose nothing you can't replace. The mirror, that was something that we shared, and it was something special for both of us. But at the end of the day, it's just a mirror. I'm here, we can get past this. We have nothing. 
No money, nothing. No. I got money enough for the both of us. You ain't lose nothing. What he gives her is the perspective of you have exactly what you need, which is him, she has her children, and she has life. And so many people on that journey don't have any of that. Let's pick up what we can find. The sun rises and it's good. We got thieves. One of the shootouts is with these thieves who steal the cattle after the storm. That ain't six, Captain. I count 12. 13. Run and fan out wide. There's some great gun battles. They're epic in the way that they're fought, but they're also chaotic. Bandits came, so you got to come in there and you have to throw your weight around. I was so excited and so jacked up after doing it, and the shootout was so great. I want to do Western from now on.